Hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to something new. This is Outcast, the new beginning, the demo version which is available on Steam at the moment. I've heard of this game from very very old times when I kind of getting game news from magazines and such. They kind of made uh, a well, I guess a continuation of that, but I haven't played the original, so this is completely new to me. I just know that this was something quite famous and and a lot of people played it back in the day. So let's get into this demo and find out for ourselves what is it about. Yep. Demo! Let me take a quick look into the settings. Everything should be quite on ultra. Yes, this is what I wanted to confirm. Let's take exploration, combat, story. Discover the village of Sapa and the story of the Fisher Fisher Talons in the story demo. Huh. Huh. So it's actually three things in one demo. Let's try the story first. Uh, normal. <coughs> yes, I'm not using controllers at the moment, just keyboard and mouse. Love the seaside. Welcome to Adelpha. You can find the controller and keyboard layouts in the settings tab of the menu. Press P to access the menu. Alright, let me let me look around first. Oh wow. Right, it looks nice. Although that 60, 80, 50 FPS is not something that I would be too thrilled about. Most of the games that I play nowadays with this uh, <clears throat> new computer of mine runs around 90, 100, 200, 300 FPS so you know showing me 50 FPS is, is probably just something that is either limited by uh, v v sync or something else. Give me one second, let me check that one just very, very quickly. Graphics for the last year V sync off apply. Yes. Oh, it's not actually much better. It's showing me 60 ish FPS, even though V sync is off. But it's a solid. 60 FPS, as far as I can tell. Huh. Oh, that greenery just popped in there. I mean, I like the general scenery of it, but oof. Hi. Are you the chief of the village? You. You look like a world traveler. An action-oriented fellow. My name is Tanak, and I am the leader of Sapa. Can okay. I ask you something? I'm an open book. Shoot. I don't need a book, but shooting? Yes, shooting is exactly what I'm looking for. How much for the gun? Sorry, Tanak. It's not for sale. Sorry. Let me clarify. I need the hand attached to the gun. Your hand. Pulling the trigger. I'll pay you. That probably would have been some easier way to tell that. What do you want me to aim at? The Gamors. Mating season's over and they're hungry, of course. So they're coming back to Saba to feast on us. Can you get rid of them? Depends. What's a Gamor? Four-legged scavengers. Razor sharp teeth, deadly claws. Faster than a harpoon. Gamors. All right, calm down. I will help you. I'm sure they're still slower than a bullet anyway. What's so special about this little settlement you have here? It's beyond special. 
This little settlement is the gateway to the Seas of Adelpha. It's a community of fine, upstanding fisher talent and... Oh, who am I fooling? The community dwindles by the moon. Our economy tanked once the invaders closed the Daoka, and the only fish left are Senegtas. I mean, it's still a fish, right? I've never tasted Senecta before. You like it? Do I have any other choice? Those nasty carnivorous fish have become our main source of food. Mainly because they ate all the other fish. Something to do with the temperature of our waters. But Am explains it better than I do. Talk to him if you want to know more. All right. I'll come back later. Sapa. Alright. I don't know much about quests, but I want to try that water. It looks so inviting. Oh, I have a jetpack. Very fancy. Then let's try the water. Woohoo! Whoa! Look at that. And you can jetpack boost in the water too. Alright, let's get out. There's probably a better way of doing this than just jetpack boosting. But this looks fairly good. I mean, I'm quite okay with this. I don't know what that sphere and the distance is. Oh, oh, what? Hang on. Hang on, folks. New tourist here. I kind of fell off. If I keep... wait a second, I probably... oh, I have a gun too. Nice. I was trying to figure out... Right, so it's basically a hover pack, not a booster pack thingy. Alright, let's get over there. Oh. <coughs> Hang on, I'm boosting. Oh, I have a shield too, which is, I think, control. Okay, that works. Let's do a little exploration. I see something red there, so I assume it will be something we can shoot at. It almost looks like it's somewhere here. Oh, there it is. Oh, that was easy peasy. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop it, folks. My FPS went down for a second. Perfect. Alright, now let's see what these were. Ouch. Oh, they look like robots. Any more robots? Wait, what? Oh, that's where you are shooting from. Oh, they have a big muscle guy, too. Oh, I think I just vacuumed all of those in. expected this to be an elevator of sorts but it doesn't seem to be all right let me try jump back up here oh, oh. oh boy all 
I'm not really sure what I'm picking up, but I, I assume it's loot that we will need at some point. The game will probably have some sort of an intro. This demo should not be the first thing you will see, probably. Smart bullet. Oh, so we kind of need bullets. Wait, do I have another gun? Ah, nice. Let's go in here. This looks a bit too modern for the villagers, so I assume this is some sort of an invader species. Doka core. Ah, I see some strange tearing when I'm moving the camera in the top. I'm not sure if it's what is it for, but it's not. Uh, it's not FPS related, it's probably something else. Probably because I switched up V-Sync. Let me check if I put that back on, that will help. Graphics, V-Sync, apply, yes. DLSS, quality. Let's switch off DLSS for now. Let's see if that will change something. Borderless. And the 4070 Ti is super. Yeah, the, mm, the tearing actually kind of disappeared. So that V-Sync was, was that. V-Sync is normally something that is limiting my FPS, so I normally just switch it off. But in this case I might need to leave it on because it actually helps removing the tearing. Even though it still limits my FPS to 60, it's Better to not have any artifacts. Right. Oh. Let me get to the. Let me get to the top. Get. Mm. Come on, boy. Oh, wait, there was something here. Alright. <clears throat> Alright. Oh yeah, I now notice. Next to the health bar on top, I have the three things and those are the jetpack boosts that I have. I don't see what's in the tower. I know we are kind of deviating from whatever we're supposed to do, but... Yeah, when you see an open world like this, I mean, who wouldn't want to explore it? Oh wow, this gun is wildly inaccurate. And I they managed to hit one dude. But I think the pistol is a better choice. Ah. Nice. Maybe it's their shotgun or something. Their version of a shotgun. Hmm. Well. Let's take a look inside. Hey, okay. loot of some sort. I probably switch back to the small gun because it's it looks more promising. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, I see some ships up there. And this is some very nice foliage if you look at it from game dev perspective. I think it's... Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how they made it. This looks good though. I really like it. And also relatively low poly, but... <clears throat> you can see how the mesh is going and breaking here a little bit. 
that's how the geo. So it's basically just a simple plane with transparency, probably transparency cut because the transparency is very. Uh, 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 how to say it? So the edge is, is very well defined. So, yeah, this is a nice plant. I really like it. Let's look into that tower. Oh, wow, what is this bulb? It kind of reacts to where I'm going. Oh, I think these belong to the villagers. These war boats kind of look like from World of Warcraft a little bit with those symbols on top. But I do like it, it's a logical ship, so to say. And the water is not going in it. That's good. Oh wow, look at the Death Star on the rise. Oh, and I think this is a structure for the locals. Let's log up the top. Oh wow, climbing the stairs is a bit sluggish. <clears throat> oh, there should be a way further up. Yep. Yeah. Hmm, probably there. Oh, 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 stop. Oh, oof. Oh, it takes a bit of a, a finesse to... to find the right ledge. Oh, there's something there. Oh, oh there's a guy. My guy, how did you get up here without the jetpack? I don't think we've met. I know. I am Visa, the traveler. You are the so-called Ulu guy. Something. Am like I? Where are you traveling to? Travel has become tricky on Adolfa. I don't know if you've heard, but there's an invasion going on. Yeah, not this. Are you here about the Orim trails? I know everything about them. Hmm. Tell me more. Orm trails, huh? What are they? I named these plants after my partner, Orim. We used to travel <laughs> together, but Orim reverted on a dangerous trail near Palana. Orim and I have been documenting these trails since we were young lovers, freshly out of Kizar. They are fascinating plants. Did you know you can find them across the whole planet? So that's it? You were just writing about them? Like studying them, or...? Oh, no. Orim and I, we didn't receive an education in Procreana and all that. We used to live off the Helidium trade, you see. You can collect Helidium at the end of each trail, so we started to travel everywhere we could find them. Became quite the experts. So, what are you doing up here? Orem's Hazardous took possession of this lighthouse, so I could have a better view of the trails. I'm sad we will never finish what we started together. Can oh, no. I pick up where you left off? Please do. That would be a blessing from the yards. Report back to me once in a while. I want to know everything about the trails you find. Well, all right. What are you doing here? Thinking about the past, mostly. I wanted to find every Orem trail on Adelpha. But then the invaders came. What a shame. I owed Orem that much. I better get going, Vizel. Well, all right. I'm not too impressed by that fire. The smoke looks good, though. All right, so I kind of see the giant beam of light tornado. I'm not sure what that is. I 
I think we came from somewhere there. Kinda. Let me see if I have a map. Like, no, M is not doing anything, so let me see if there's something in these menus. Lots of stuff. Helidium. Plants. Potions. These are kind of like, I assume, should be important. <clears throat> Jet sprint. Press F to swiftly glide above the ground. Yeah, that's good. I would want that. Air dodge. As opposed to jet sprint boost. Not enough blue helidium. Oh, wh where does it say that I need... Oh, this is what I was looking for. Glide. F while airborne to glide free freely. Oh, well, okay. So we can upgrade this jetpack significantly. Oh, tab is the map. Right, so we see. Difficulty level, outpost. Dog core outpost. I think we did some of them. I'm not sure if these red dots mean that I'm, I've am i yet to liberate it. Or in trail. Oh, I think this is fast travel point they mean. Alright. The map works a bit strangely, so if you move your cursor to the bottom, it will move things. Gorg eruption, side activity. You know what, I want to see that one. And we are roughly... Oh, there it is. Oh, what? Hang on. That was a superhero landing. Oh, so the F is actually allowing me to... To glide, but if you are in the air, it will glide you into the ground. It's a bit strange as you are diving into this. Huh? Birds, what? Wait, what the heck is shooting at me? Oh, robots. Nice. And yeah, I went into the Shrubbery. Oh, that seems to be the thing. Wait, let's see if we... Ah, okay. X to scan. What did my scan reveal? Nothing, it seems. Alright. Ah, wait, robots. Interesting. I assume later on you can make your own robots in this game. All right, let's see this eruption. Oh, what the? Kill the corrupted. I've nicer things. Kill the corrupted knock bees. Kill corrupted. Come 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 and I. All right. Um, I assume one of these will be Ouch Hang on Where the last one 
Hold on, it's actually two more that I don't really see. Oh, there it is. Okay, I need to find one more. Yeah, Birdie. Yeah. And now what? Nice. Could be useful later on. Well, alright. Melee of power. Clearing a cock eruption, granted you a melee of power. Press G when Chile melee cage is full to freeze all enemies around for a moment. Huh, okay. Well, up, oh, come on. Come on, A, G. Oh, oof. For a second, I thought the game is freezing. <clears throat> Look at all that gunk. I can stand in the middle of it. Oh, the E is actually changing your weapon, but the E is also allocated to picking up stuff, so it's kind of a, a mystery. Right, let's look at... Oh, what is this? Big school phase. This phase's force field is still active. That's good. We like force fields. Zip. I think I'm heading the right way. to tell oh I see so that was that force field that we saw at the beginning nice let me walk in here robots who needs shields Well, they are rolling down the hill. Fancy. I think I will do this one here and then I will probably... That will be the video, folks. Interesting. Wow. This actually looks very cool. There's also something there that looks like a ship. It is actually a ship. Quantum fans won't budge. Ah. Ah. Um, hmm. Nope. The American way doesn't work. Huh. There isn't a logical way here that I can see. I can kind of. Uh, I thought I can put my gun in it, but no. And they are feeling very comfy inside there. I wonder. Maybe there is a way somewhere under it where you can scooch in. Oh, what is this? Looks valuable. Smash Helidium rocks with a melee attack to obtain Helidium. Uh, what is my melee attack? Oh, that was a total random. I think it's assigned to the letter V. I think I have what you need. Is that... Oh, no, no, yeah, oh, stop hovering, my man, E to pick up, Aloy plant, nice, I think that might be the basic healing plant or something, oh, was it a time trial, oof, well, alright, I guess, folks, unintendedly, this was the video, <laughs> 
<laughs> the game just cut off and put me in the screen to purchase the game. I still need to look into it. The game released actually, but you know what I've seen so far was was fairly interesting. It's uh, a, a lot of unknown words in an unknown world, but I assume this is not the start of the game. So this this looks like interesting and kind of avatar-esque with all the invasion and you the basic savior. If anything, it actually looks very good. And you can go explore a whole planet, lush, tropical, you can go underwater, whatever you need. So it's actually not that bad. So, you know, let me know what you think of this in the comments. I will read all of your comments and reply to everybody. So. Whatever you think of this demo or this game, let me know. And see you in the next adventure, folks. Bye-bye.